today in this class we have discussed about the pivot table so we we'll start the pivot table pivot table is the very important topic in the advanced excel and excel thing why in the office you have created the any reports the reports reports is the summary of the data every report not 100% but some type uh, some type uh, of the basic structure is the summary of the data any legend you have summarized the data just like you have created the monthly report you can summarize your sales uh, month wise so summary you can create the summary of the data a report of the summary of the data so pivot table if you uh, see the pivot table definitions give by the microsoft we can use the pivot table analyze the data summarize the data and represent of the data so pivot table is the very important part and i have realized ki in the official time we have used the 80 to 60% of work through the pivot table directly or indirectly a small ya very large but we use the pivot table so pivot table is a very important part and i request you please learn slowly not a fast slowly because okay. it's a very useful topic okay so i have shared the screen you can see the screen and we uh, first start the pivot table need to understand data and need to understand what you want so first we have we have the some reports here some data here this is the sales data the uh, sid date name city quantity mrp type and amount also so i have analyzed the data that this is our sales data and before the apply uh, pivot table check check something the data first your column heading never blank if you have the blank column heading pivot can't create it okay so is the necessity to check first check the your heading second think about ki you have need to select data before the apply pivot table this is the depending on data if you have a data no any blank row no need to select your data apply the pivot table but if you have the blank row like that completely blank row so need to select the data because your pivot used to current region just like control a press control a and apply the your uh, pivot so you have the blank row in the your data your pivot apply the above of the blank row below the blank row, blank row not consider in the pivot so if you have the data in the blank row need to remove your blank row if you not remove your blank row then need to select your all data manually then apply the pivot Relative, understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, go to insert menu bar. We have the pivot table topic. Create and just press the OK. Insert the new sheet and apply the pivot. This is the pivot area. There is a report will be generated if you have click the your data heading in the four boxes. So, your pivot uh, depending on the your column heading. So, I uh, tell, uh, told you. your data never have the blank row need to any heading okay because your pivot considering the your heading so bus uh, pivot is not a big deal the simple there is the, your your data heading put the data and throw the any your boxes and report will be created but not any boxes particular uh, depending on your reports okay. and to I sir, your voice is. I can't hear you, sir. You are not. Hello. 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 Uh, do you hear me? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Problem in uh, problem in your mic. Check your mic. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine now. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. So, uh, uh, you have uh, first you think. You must understand the data. Check your data and apply the pivot table. Second thing, what you need. 
in in this data so i need to summary of the name by its total quantity i want to know if which persons how many quantity will be sell okay so in pivot table you have to put the name in the row level okay and we we got the unique record okay in the in the data you have the name multiple times but mm -hmm. pivot table you got the one name in the one time one time okay so no okay. duplicate so this is the summary uh, no duplicates yeah exact name this like you have the name pooja and second name the pooja singh both so uh, pivot address the both are uh, two persons not a one person Okay. And next, we have we want to total of the quantity. Then quantity put the value because in the which field in the put in the value you want to calculate. If you want to calculate, then your column your heading put the row values. So by uh, by default you got the sum. If you have column has a number, you can get. Uh, Get the sum, and if have the number have the any text A B C D like, then you have got the count. But you can change it. Uh, right side me, this is the small arrow symbol. Click here. This is the value fill setting. Value fill setting. Click here, and you can change the sum to count, average, minimum, maximum, product, which you want. Okay. Want to sum? Click on the sum. Second thing, we I want to also MRP, but not a sum of the MRP. I want to average of the MRP. So we have click here and select the value fill setting and click on the average and OK. And there is the average of MRP. So my report is the created. We have created the summary, but not a formatted because this is this is the not a right way to send report. So I want to some format. Before the format, I want to some change. Just like row level, but I want to hear name. You can change it. Just change it. Not a total sum of quantity. Total quantity. Uh -uh. You can also change it. I want to BG MR. You you want to also change the name. You can also change the name. But you have not changed any type of the calculated value. Which of which field have in the value value uh, sections you can't change any type in the calculated data. If you have want to change only for row and column value, not a value section. Okay. Okay. But you formatted all thing. We have to uh, apply the formatting, uh, normal formatting, like a report format. Uh, we have clicked the uh, border sections. We have also uh, bold. And we have also apply here the decimals, right? About but one problem here. I have to apply formatting, normal formatting. But mm -hmm. normal formatting can't understand the pivot because I data my data now my data is the uh, 16th row. In future, maybe increase 16 to 20. Okay. Refresh. Why the refresh? If you have to change the data. Okay. You have changed the data. Let's say I have changed the data 59 to 60. But in the pivot, my data not reflected. My report is not reflected because when the we have different after my data we have changed. Okay. So when you change the data, if you have uh, if you have got a new names and your total will be uh, down uh, down, then it, that area not formatted because this normal. Form not connected with your pivot. Yes, yes. If you have the data, change the data, increase and decrease the pivot, your format not increase and decrease because mm -hmm. format not connected with the data. So okay. if you want to format your pivot table report data, need to redefine 
type the format in the design sections click click on the name give me the one second yeah so if you uh, in the design section we have the some topics okay some predefined your uh, formatting formatting so select okay. thing and apply mm. okay and okay. format connected with your pivot table when your pivot table increase decrease format will be also increase and decrease okay right yes and if you want to send this report uh, to any persons and do want to visualization you can also apply the your charts there is a charts option which you can also apply. Hmm. okay and we have also applied the charts format predefined chart formats and send to the okay nice just like we have a uh, right click and we have also chart pivot chart options the pivot table options uh, change chart this is the combo chart because we have the two banner first your uh, average and second your, your quantity quantity is the bigger amount and average is the lower amount so okay. combo chart and average is the secondary axis Okay, and I, if you want to send this, send this uh, may, uh, report to any persons, and you want to not send your data, only for want to send the reports, so just right click on the sheet, move and copy, create copy, and you have selected new workbook. So this uh, report copy to new file. Okay, and we have saved the data. But remember. If you send your uh, pivot anybody, he has access your data. Ah, okay. What, how can access? Just click the total. Double click on the total. In the mm. new seats, we have data will be copied. Ah, okay. So he get all the data. Yeah, yes. He access the data, but not the uh, um, uh, data in the uh, particular sheet. When you click the uh, double double click on the uh, any totals, then get the. Mm. But you want to remove these features, then you have the pivot table. Create, a, uh, click on the pivot table options, and here is the data section. And uncheck the enable show detail. When you are uncheck the enable show detail, person will be double click on the data and get the data. Okay. 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 But I told you, pivot table is a very important part. So learn slowly. Yeah, yeah. Send you, send you this data. Okay. I have sent you this this data. Please apply some formats. Okay, sure, definitely. Okay. And please uh, chat your uh, give me the chat your email ID. Apu for error. A P P. A P P U. A P P A P P U. No, no. A P P. Yes, the first one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just. And tomorrow, same time, eleven thirty. Okay, baby. Okay. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. And uh, one thing, one thing, we have launched the new app. So, if it possible, please download my app. What is the application name? I've, I've Send, uh, you, do you use the Android and iOS? Android, Android, Android. I just sent, I sent you the, uh, the download link on the app link on the WhatsApp. Okay, yeah, please, please. Okay. Okay.